this motorhome is the Leica Creos 5009. This will cost over 90,000 euros in its uh, basic form and this one here is 105 and a half thousand euros. So it's quite a lot of money. Let's get some of the other details on it. It is on an Alcor Heavy Fiat Ducato 43, 769 centimeters in length. Its uh, width is uh, 230 and its height is 303. So and there's the extras which have increased the price by 15,000 euros. Now it's a lot of money, but it is quite an outstanding van. What do you think? Now, due to popular demand, I am now going to start at the back. So I'll give a little bit of an overview of the van. Let's go to the very back. Now, panoramic uh, roof light up there. Obviously, it's now looking its best. Uh, nobody's been here. This is in its utter showroom state. And uh, let's have a look at some of the things down here. So, you can uh, get in either via to this uh, wardrobe, either via the door, or you can lift this thing here up. Next to that, you have got, there's a heating control, and you also open the, door, the uh, wardrobe door, drawer from this side. I think that's a nice feature, so there's me sort of turning around on my shoes. Isn't that a nice feature? I like that. I like the colour scheme. I think this is a cherry tree. I don't know, I'm just, I just think, but uh, what's that, um, you know, if you like it or don't like it, it's a matter of opinion. Um, now, another thing that looks quite standing, I think, is the blue light in the shower. And to put a blue light like that in, it's next to no money at all. It's no chip out the 105,000, but uh, doesn't it look great? I think, uh, at least I think it does. And you've even got a bar up there to hold your socks when they're wet, after you've washed them, if you do wash them. Thing comes across, at least it should do. Well, it's supposed to anyway. Yeah, pull that down there. Ooh. Well, that one there is stuck. I wonder why. Oh well, I'll leave that one. Probably just come up the factory, nobody's bothered t uh, testing it yet. Doors nicely contoured, bit of a gap up there. I don't think it's a problem. Toilets at slight height. There's me in the mirror. So you can sort of lock this up. See, so once you find out how that works here, the door or get 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 it to work. Aha! So I've understood how it works now. Except on your two hands, right? That comes down there like that, and the door here comes out like this. This thing here comes out. Unfortunately, I can't do it with one hand. Oh, yeah, I need two hands for that. Sorry. And I can see one hand is on the camera. Amazing amount of space there for the kitchen. It's a drain, drainage board there. Behind me, we have got the big fat fridge. If 
for those of you who demand that I open fridges up, there you go. There's the freezer bit as well. And there's the grill above it. And the grill's just uh, come out the factory, so the bits are still in there. A bed, spare bed up there. Now, you can scarcely tell it's in there. Well, scarcely, maybe. I'm exaggerating a little bit, but it's very well hidden. Seating group. Now, if there's three or four of you, well, let's say four, you might get two people in this bed up here. But if you have a couple of people around, isn't that great? Lovely, comfortable chairs, driving and uh, passenger. I think aided by the light that comes through there, not when you're driving of course, but well, it might be nice when you're driving, but when you're sitting around the table, it's great. And here's something I've never seen before in a camper van, or motor, I should say. A drawer up there, although to be quite honest, I think I'd rather have this with a ledge, because you can actually do something with it when it's got the ledge on. Both sides has got this sort of uh, compartment. So, what do you think of this? It looks super, superbly elegant in my opinion. I think see yourself as you're leaving. Oh, see I happened to clean the camera lens again. That's my fault, I should have cleaned it. I understand at the end of the day it gets a bit grubby. And there's the bin. Let's have a look at the, uh, the garage. Well, it's a very expensive van, but it's got a lot of style to it. Let's have a look at a couple of others while we're here. Such as this one here, the Krios 7009, which costs 121,053. It is eight meters long. Ah, oh, let's see, I've managed to do it this time. With one hand, so that comes across like that. Lock yourself in the, the bedroom, which is possibly will be what you want to do while somebody is using the toilet, for example. The toilet's the same, as is the bathroom, as in the uh, shower, I should say, as in the first van. Look how much space is in here. Cosmo 509L at a price of fifty eight and a half thousand euros. Spacious. Without the style, I think, of the others. Electric bed. Mind you, it's like half the price of the others, though, isn't it?
M edition. Sixty-six thousand base price. This one's going to cost me ninety-two thousand. <gasps> Like a Cosmo V9. This is fifty thousand. Integrated van here. Nine oh nine. Sixty-nine thousand three hundred and sixty-eight. Basic price sixty-two thousand. So it's uh, the extras here aren't costing so much. So, EcoVip 309S has a price of 58,590. This one's an extra 10,000 for the extras. Bed up there. Fridge, I'll show you the fridge if I can. And the Cosmo 6 camper van or 6.0 with a tent in the roof and uh, yeah, look at the tent in the roof. And the uh, bed. Now, what's impressive here, to a certain extent, is the fact we've got this rather large washroom in a van of this size. All right, so we've got Katja here. I might want to say something. Do you want to say something about Leica? Yes, I like this van a lot. Because, you like this van a lot? Yes. Yeah, because this why? Because this is for four persons, you don't need it with the roof. You have a, quite a lot of space in the bathroom and as well in the cupboards. And uh, I like how they worked in. I like, love the colour, you know. If you go inside, you just feel welcome. It's a very nice man you should have a look at. Okay, right. So I'll have a look at that some other time. And so thank you. And what's your, uh, your uh, YouTube site called, Katja? Uh, just now it's still Katja Hein, but uh, normally I'm Hinfahren. That's my blog.
Okay. You'll find me there. Okay, good, good. <laughs> so, uh, here we have uh, the stand of Leica at CMT 2020. And uh, I'll just walk the back down here to the van I started off with. So if you found that of any interest, uh, please do subscribe. And if you get any benefit from what I do, please do consider supporting me on Patreon. And uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, all the best.